devil are you? It's four leaf clover. Make a wish. Wish you weren't so fucking awkward, bud. No ego on that side of Hollywood, is there? Because maybe they're just as good and we're, we're wasting time. Why can't you just admit it's over? Some people are in it just for the art. It's too complicated. It's like algebra. Why you gotta put numbers and letters together? Why can't you just go fuck yourself? Hey now! Welcome to Scrub Hop Talk, offering opinions and an onslaught of off thoughts. The blah blah's top notch. Sit for a minute with BDC and the chicken mix in a split for a scotch rock. My boys and I have been described, opinionated hundred times, and not afraid to dive into our minds. Talking deep inside, talk about the lies we live, bro. You know that the dude abides. Best part of my week is with the crew, chop it about the grind. Where you go to hear the chicken squat? Where you go to see the chicken talk? I'm talking about scrub hop talking. I might tell you why the chicken crossed the road. You mother. Well, some bitches may have sold a name, but the show is still the same. We're here to let you know we still hella fucked up in the brain. Our views on the world got more screwed up with age. But the show's about to start, we're only here to set the stage. Not everyone's gonna enjoy this show. Settle in. Yeah, boys, what the yeah. fuck is Appalachian? Yeah. We're back. We're doing oh, that, it. My hat almost came off fire. You must be talking Thank to you. me because my fire hat's way cooler than the flame yeah, fire hat underneath. I am. It, it goes real well with that rapping for dummies hookup you got going on. Yeah, there. I got it because I thought it would match. You know, I'm, I'm original. Mm-hmm. Watch this. See how easy it is? Look, J Dirty Look Pen. <laughs> We're done. Wow. wow. I don't Can have you- to take my face off. Can you take your hat off and go stand at an awkward angle and attempt to show that to the camera, please? Uh, there we go. This, yep. would, this would be the best time for either for him to join. Yeah. <laughs> we got the new hat in, chicken. Yeah. Hell to the fuck yeah, man. What's up? You know, We're back. In true Episode Chicken 18. McFat Balls, in true Chicken McFat Balls uh, 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 regalia, he's not here yet. So, he just yeah. got some brand new audio technical equipment. Oh, I gotta take myself out of demo mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, dog, we're it? we're back. The chicken's late, but you got the BDC boys up on the sh- up on the show number eighteen, right here on Scrub Hop. Uh, I was gonna promote our web store right here on ScrubHop.com. <laughs> fine. This joke. is number. This is number eighteen. I thought we were on number nineteen. This is number no, eighteen. No, no, and, and so. Number 18 no. means that we only have 82 episodes left until triple digits. 100 episodes. But now next week, I'm going to be really disappointed when we're just on 19 because I felt like we made it there this week. So and I don't I'll know that I'm going to be. As I say, every time I get on here and you're right there, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> okay. Okay. Listen here, bud. We can get right into it. You want to you uh, throw I mean, in? Okay. Uh, my shoulders are ready, bro. What's up? <laughs> Oh, okay. You think just because you live there, I can't be over here? Mm-hmm. That's right. right. Think about it. Know Fine, about it. Kid. I'm about that life. Fine. It's episode 18. TRU. Yeah. I, I think uh, episode 19 is going to be a Christmas spectacular. I mean, the, 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 you know, the possibilities are endless for the Christmas spectacular. And then episode 20 is, you guessed it, the Scrub Hop Talk Best of. 2020. Oh, my oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's never been a way god. to end a season. R I fucking P. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, this is a new one I found. It's not pumpkin. The season's over. <laughs> what does that say? Peanut butter. Peanut Ooh. butter. Graham cracker peanut butter. This what? shit nice. has become my new non-pumpkin white girl obsession. This shit is bomb as fuck. Yeah, that's some good-ass white girl mm. shit right there. Oh, it is. Yeah. I like that. Bringing I in all those like and Rockies cups from a throwback uh, episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, a little got, less got my girl. show beer. But yeah, so like um, we got the Christmas episode coming up. We got a best mm-hmm. of because we're lazy and it's fun mm-hmm. to do lazy best ofs. Yes. It's not lazy. I, I think we need to call it the lazy best of show. Yeah, it's not lazy. All of them are going to be called the lazy. You know that th- you can call I it lazy. Disagree. But we work hard. I mean, you guys it's do. Going to take just as much work to go through all the old episodes and pull the good clips that we want to play, and then pull those clips and put them back into the system in order to play them again. You know what I'm saying? So it's not really that lazy. It's not like we just have this cache of of clips available. It's Isn't so it cache? It could be. Yeah, okay, well, I mean, it's gonna be like, on this show because we're fucking that, fancy. 
that requires plugging in an entirely different hard drive. It's it's a big deal, okay? It's not just something that happens overnight. It might take no. two nights, like two overnights, like like a sleepover with your divorced parent. Yeah, that's how long it takes. That's one, how I one long that's weekend, how I twice a time. month. Mm -hmm. I don't have any divorced parents, and yet I still track that, and just great. So yeah. it's a very uh, it's very common with uh, the you know kids from our era. You guys, I don't know how that didn't happen. Man, <laughs> I feel like I'm from a new era. You know what I'm saying? Just like that hat. Fuck yeah! <laughs> anyway, I feel like again. I sometimes I just feel like these uh, the the show just devolves into us just like talking as if we had not hit record yet. No, that's which fine. Is, which is fine. That's what I like about it. But it's like we'll get into the most mundane shit sometimes, and I'm like, we forgot we were like doing our show. Well, and the best part is, is that we spent at least five to ten minutes before we even hit record uh, talking about things that probably should be on the show. You know what I mean? So usually we will uh, we'll we'll even hit some topics that we should have waited on. Mm -hmm. Which, like, you know, I was just about to say, which I do have one. You know, mm -hmm. we can like nerd boy out for a minute because the chicken's not here to shit on our parade. Yeah, okay. that's right. We got that uh, that obsession show back, y'all. Five more years. I'm super geeked. We got the ah, we got Stern woo. back. I kind of purposely didn't write you guys anything about it because I was like hoping we could just talk about it here. But obviously, we're all geeked as fuck. That's super dope. Howard Stern signed again with Sirius uh, for five more years. The mm -hmm. same thing. The the three day a week shit was whack, but we've gotten used to it. So you know, we're all gonna complain, days? huh? Remember when it used to be five days and then and then it switched to four days and then remember on Thursdays they used to have the uh, uh, the guy from the National Enquirer call. Oh what yeah, that, what was that segment called? Oh God, Mike Walker. Yeah, Mike Walker. But I me. forget the oh. segment, but that was his name. Yeah, well, it, it's changed, but. You know what, dude? I'm just glad. I'm so glad. Like when I heard that, I, I didn't know when they were gonna do it. Yeah. And when I heard, I I legit got super super fucking geeked because that's what I do. <laughs> and that's why a lot of music takes a while because I want to catch up on the show and not miss it. And then I'm like, well, I'm tired Same. now. I can't rap. Same. I follow yeah. like eight, <laughs> eight or nine podcasts. I, think. I don't know how. Well, it, 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 I only do it on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because basically Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is stern, you know, and it's like I don't so long. And you don't wrap up show, right? No, I I do sometimes, but it, it's not a regular. Ever since they moved it to one hundred and one, it's not a regular listen for me anymore because it requires just, it requires additional effort, and I I should because I do enjoy you it. You go to seven other podcasts. I know. That's listen, I'm not telling effort. you. I'm not telling you that what I'm doing is logical or makes any sense. I'm just telling you this is the way it is, okay? You know what? We're not here to make uh, logic or sense here on Scrub Hop Talk, so that's okay. That's right. But, uh, I was I was equally just as excited. I, I found it extremely hilarious every time that he would do the journey psych out for the last month. <laughs> with, uh, and, then when, and then when he did it, and uh, he's getting ready, and, and Fred plays, he's like, no, no, I'm actually doing it this time. I was like, I don't even know it's real anymore. <laughs> So for those of you that don't know, every time we got ready to make this big announcement we've all been waiting on, uh, his sound guy would play Journey, this Journey song, and then Howard Don't stop like, believing. Don't, yeah, okay. and then he'd go out with the Sopranos ending where it's just like, boom, goes to black, and we don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. So it became like, what, five or six different times over the last yeah. week he did it. Including uh -huh. once right before vacation. So it left everybody waiting like three weeks to find out what was going on. <laughs> I knew right away what he did, but I was still like, you fucking prick. I was I was so hoping. <laughs> and then I was so hoping. But yeah, so he, he officially announced it yesterday. Yep. Right? So no, I listen he, to shows, it takes me a while to get through them in a week. He didn't like, announce it. Marianne from Brooklyn announced it. Right. That's right. But ultimately, they made oh, that right. announcement. I was super geeked. Couldn't wait to talk to you guys about it because we're all super fans and definitely major you know, super fans. Having that Stern Show love. Yeah, I've man. Been, I mean, I've been an everyday listener since 2008. So the, the idea of that going away really pains me. So, yeah, and luckily, I'm, we don't have to worry about that again. And you guys are in it way longer than I was. I didn't get into it until like 2014, and that was just before Benji got fingered, and I was an everyday <laughs> listener like right around that time. 
Man, we'd already uh, been on the show by then. Like that shit, yeah. man. Oh like, yeah. And I didn't God, even listen where, to that. Where were you? I, I didn't even listen to that when you guys did that. I was like, whatever, it was just fine. But then, <laughs> but well, actually, so what did it was I had jury duty for the very first time, and I was hanging out with big trucks there. And I was like, I need something to pass the time for jury duty. And he was like, oh, there's a bunch of interviews this week. I know you don't want to like listen to a radio show. Because b- before that, I was like, what, what am I going to listen to a show like that for? I have no interest. Blah, blah, blah. And he said, oh, there's like all of these different interviews this week of comedians that I think you're really going to like. And I think it was like Jason Jonah Bateman Hill. and Seth Rogen and Jonah Hill were like all the, in the I remember movie. the Jonah Hill one was the one that I got you like totally hooked with. Oh, dope. And it, 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 it was I was a few of those ones, and then I sat in jury duty and listened to all of those. And then it took like maybe another week of just going through the archives of interviews before like I would pick up bits and pieces of the interviews and then get invested in the staff. And then I was like, all right, I'm going in. Yeah, you were in. Everyday listener sense, boys. You just wanted something to get those painful memories of your brother at the skating rink out. You needed something new to bond with him. I was trying to. So now, so I got that. And then we got other podcasts that he talked about that we listen to. I listen to more podcasts than he does and watch more television. Um, you live alone I'm, with no children. You're supposed to. I don't by understand. By a large his life. margin. That's pretty yeah. great. Yeah. No, by, by, by a disgusting margin. I listen to like, I, what did you say? Seven? Probably. For you? I'm yeah. probably up to like nine weekly, maybe 10. Dang. As well as all of the stories, well, just general Robert bullshit Coke. conversational things. They're all um, comedy. yeah. I, uh, yeah mo- most most of them are comedy. Yeah. There's there's well, yeah, a couple I mean, that I are like so. you don't look. There's like a the couple NPR that are just type. more interview. No, I like, totally am. You don't listen to Fresh Air. Um, no, <laughs> exactly. I, <laughs> most of them are Working just like rosebuds comedy. on Sunday mornings. This is yeah, Nancy see. Drew. <laughs> it's either that or just like more interviews and i can get down with interviews when people are talking about whatever and like that's, that's just, just background that's just noise so while I'm much looking. stuff how it's do you listen to new music day. i don't understand i i don't have a chance to listen to any of the new shit i'm excited to hear so, music but, usually i can't get to till like thursday night or friday and then the weekend <laughs> depending on if anything else has come out that week but see i Friday's also can't usually, play any of the shit i want to listen to out loud with my children around because all my shit's foul and horrible and still immature as fuck you don't walk around <laughs> with one airpod in your ear like i do 24 hours a day this show is the first time i've tried to put these things in my ears forever and you know how many times i adjust them during one of these recordings I feel so uncomfortable. I hate when things hang out. Like, no, I don't have AirPods. <laughs> I you gotta get you dirty some AirPods. I basically like I keep mine in so regularly that I often don't even notice that I'm still wearing them. Like, I'll, I'll have an AirPod in my right ear for like four hours and not even have anything playing. It's crazy. Yeah, no, I don't think I can't do that. My ears are so fucking big that they, they fall out. So but that's, that's how I, I try to stay so still. Uh, so still. But that's how I listen to all those podcasts, man. As soon as it like. If I'm busy doing something for work that uh, doesn't involve me talking to somebody, like I'm listening to a podcast, or I'm like, you know, I'm I'm walking around my house cleaning, listening to yeah, something. Yeah, I guess that's true. I can't like, walk like, around the hospital wearing a fucking earpod. You know what I? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so a lot of that listen time is gone. Yeah, no, I, th- th- that is kind of where I get. You can only fake time. poop so long. And then I do um, Fridays is when I do music. Because I, I hit up my Spotify, my release radar, and I just go through that and I listen to the whole thing every Friday. Anymore, I'm like, is Twisted got a new record out this Friday? Like, it seems pretty and frequent. The answer is always yes. I know, anymore. I'm like, well, that's dope. <laughs> pretty much, if your question is, does Twisted, Easy Mac, or Chris Webby have a song out this week? The answer is yes. Most yeah, likely. Pretty much. Did you see they're doing one together? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, that'll be dope. Wait, no, Ooh. Twisted and Twisted and Webby? Yeah. Oh no, I I did not. I didn't, I didn't either, but the way you reacted, I was like, maybe that's true. Fuck, <laughs> I, <didn't laughs> I, I thought you were talking about a different Webby collab that because he he's post he posts he's shit dope as fuck, week. but I don't know anything about him. You know what I mean? <laughs> I follow. I saw that you did one with Justina though. Valentine, the Wild and Out chick, and I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, he did a feature with that whore from Wild and Out. That's cool. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. Don't get me wrong, but I mean that's pretty much the gimmick, right? <laughs> okay. Should I say the red hair girl? Yeah. 
You could probably cut that. That's... <laughs> oh, you like now? Horror is a bad word. Like, what, yeah. what, why do we have a show? I don't understand. You know, you know what? It's, it gets better when you just keep using it. So, yeah. like, let's, let's double like down. Like a whore. <laughs> say, it, say it like we're on the Sopranos. That who? <laughs> oh, you should have said Andrew Dice Clay. I've never seen the Sopranos. <laughs> Oh man, he beat that hua to death. <laughs> Rihanna. <laughs> but anyway, um, <laughs> Chris Webby yeah. Toys did new music. I don't think they're doing anything together, but it would be dope if they did. No, Chris but I mean, dope. you know, we. So that's when I get my music down. I do my release radar. Uh, that's been the joint for real because that's where I get to learn about new stuff and hear <laughs> things that I really enjoy. Plus, we're always popping up on that boy because we've been releasing music like crazy. We done, uh, I mean, in the last five months, we've released the BDC record, Brothers Two, Throne Hunting, and the Halloween single. And oh yeah, and Aguilera. Double, yeah, uh, and Aguilera, Aguilera, we couldn't put up on on Spotify, but it is available. SoundCloud. Go check oh, that out. Aguilera, it's brother. messed up that like you think she's fallen off enough that they wouldn't actually like make the radar. Like, really, is she still a big name? It's not her dog, it's preem. It's a preem beat. No, right. I'm just that, kidding. That's what I'm pretty gonna, sure I have that, that record for sale right now, and I'm not even kidding. That's hilarious. I somehow have like a stack of what I call girl CDs because there's girls that made the CDs, and that's how the post is too. <laughs> Texas, but it gets a lot of views. It's and, got uh, girl CDs. It's got Janet Jackson and Tony nope, Braxton. Just Christina and Brittany. That's it. You should change it. You Spirit. should change it to horror CDs. <laughs> Dude, like vernacular means something. Like Jesus Christ, time and a place. <laughs> like when it's appropriate in the conversation, calling a chick a whore is totally fine. But you're just over here throwing it around like it's fucking <laughs> potatoes at your Thanksgiving dinner, you son of a bee. Wow. <sighs> I don't know. Sometimes. So, speaking I mean, of potatoes. To, no, go ahead. To, to, to round out that whole topic, we got some brand new music coming here right around the corner. Oh, that's like, funny. Nice, I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. A nice little Christmas release is going to be hitting all of your release radars. Oh, okay? Wait a minute. Let's, let's clarify. Hmm. It's, it's going to be a release time. coming out around Christmas time. It's no way a Christmas release. <laughs> There's zero Christmas about song. that. No, no, no. I think it's. I think it's it thematically. Thematically, it's a Christmas song. Yeah. What song a, are we doing? I think it's a Christmas song in the same way that Die Hard is a Christmas. Movie. Exactly. I saw <laughs> something else that said if Die Hard's a Christmas movie, so is Batman Returns. <laughs> and I was like, fuck yeah. Batman Returns is definitely a Christmas movie. I mean, again, maybe not, but um, <laughs> um, yeah. So, so it's a song we're gonna put out around the Christmas holiday. Guys, get ready for the Christmas song from Big Dirty Cotton, a Christmas release, the Jingle Merry Bells Christmas. remix. We yeah. are Christmas rappers this holiday season. Yeah, it's uh, definitely it's definitely not an aggressive, violent song at all. Not even a little. It's bit. very major in in size. Mm -hmm. Not uh, micro. Not macro. Well, not machines. No, uh, yeah, we got a brand new track called uh, "Macro Aggression." It's coming out. Uh, I, I paused for a minute. I was gonna say aggression or aggressive, but macro aggressive. aggressive. Huh? Macro aggressive. Aggressive. Yeah, right aggressive. after I said, it, I was like, "That's not right." Macro aggressive. I was kind of like, as you said that, I was like, well, "We haven't released it yet, so we could just change it to whatever you." No, just no, said no. I, I was like, "That time. doesn't seem right." I said it wrong, right? Like. Again, it's like when we like when I, I think something's wrong. I'm like, I look at you like, well, they didn't say anything. Maybe hey, I'm wrong. Wanna, listen, I didn't want to make you look foolish. And no, I'll just I name care. it live. I don't give a shit. That's Master P and Eddie Griffin. That was a great movie. I'll look foolish. Speaking, hey, speaking of looking foolish, Andrew Dice Clay challenge. <laughs> what? I'll find some. I'll I'll come up an emaciated old man, and you're gonna look foolish. Give me I a just, challenge. I'll come. Give me I a challenge. Just, I'll come. I'll come. Give me I a just, challenge. I'll come up an emaciated old man. Give me I a just, challenge. You're gonna look foolish. Give me I a just, challenge. You're gonna look foolish. I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. 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 Come up an emaciated old man, and you're gonna look foolish. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's the outcome. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> it's just too good. I, 
I was telling these boys before we got going that you know that's the only clip that I saved that we we had to play again, and that's gonna make the best of. Are we doing a best for of? sure? A lazy episode twenty <laughs> Christmas episode with the Christmas song for a best of episode. <laughs> oh yeah, so that uh, that track will come oh, out yeah. on on Spotify and all those fucking. Excuse me, digital outcome or outcomes, output, digital outlets, outcomes. Out, out, all those outs. Midnight on Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Come to the midnight release sale. It'll be out by like 10 o'clock in California, I think. <laughs> I think that's how that works. Macro aggressive. Yeah. Big dirty cotton. So what what's the release date? Or are we just gonna like say maybe we wait till next week to make sure that it we'll, clears? Hey, we'll tell, you, them, we'll tell them next week. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. totally stole like that Wu Tang beat triumph for this one, so <laughs> it might not might not go. We might need to go uh, on SoundCloud no. again, but we'll Fortunate, see. Fortunately, this one was produced by one young wicked. So we we actually, you know, this one's cool. We this have one. permission to release it. <laughs> We're allowed. Yeah. We have Hell yeah. Per it's all the good. It says, go ahead. Go ahead. He, he didn't say no. That was like, like uh, yeah, to me. Remember one of the one of the promo CDs or whatever we did, where uh, I just took the open verse from an A and B song, yeah, and I rapped over it. I don't remember the song or the CD, but I asked uh, uh, Otis if I could do it because I somehow just had like the before DJ Clay put his verse on it version of the CD. I think and- it was "I'm gonna get mine," wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, "Fuck, I can't remember," <laughs> but you're right. And I had that, and I wrote him. I'm like, yo, I'm doing this, like, free CD. We're not selling it. It's just a giveaway. Can I rap on that? Like, fill that verse and put it out. He's like, yep. I screenshotted it, and I saved it. When it came (laughs) out, I was like, I never told you you could do that. I was like, oh, contraire. (laughs) I have it. (laughs) And even uh, even Prey, when he was mixing, was like, are you sure they're cool with this? I was like, oh, yeah, I got a text. We're good. (laughs) Like, I'm sure he didn't know what he was saying, but we have permission. We're good. Carry on, please. So, oh man! Bottom line, yeah, we can put our track up here soon. Thanks yeah. for the beat, Young Wicked. Appreciate it. Yeah, you. thanks for the beat, Young Wicked. That's what's up, Young Wicked? Fuck yeah! Well, hey, uh, I know you oh, got uh, hey, by the way, some videos. Young Wicked. Hey, Young Wicked, do the show, okay? Just, young Wicked, just, just, just do the show. What's the, what's the, the show? Where's the track? Come on the show. Let's get on the show. Just come on the show. Are we talking high pitch? I don't know. Who's the high pitch? Who's high speaking pitch? of oh, speaking of oh, high pitch, you guys want to hear about my lunch today? Oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, we got so carried away with not caring about you that we forgot to care. What's up? You should remember to care about me. Okay, so Troxy today. Cotton before the show said we have to get on here and tell him, ask him about his lunch. Like this segment is called Troxy Cotton's lunch. Go ahead and put the banner up. Oh, it's called uh, Troxy <laughs> Cotton's lunch. Please ask about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell us about your ask, lunch. The segment's called Ask Me About My Lunch. This uh, is the Troxy Cotton Wu Sama. <laughs> so today I had a frozen a cheeseburger that was made from frozen. Mm. And the cheeseburger that I received that was made from frozen was courtesy of the local school district. Uh, Big Trox, you care to give any more information on that? Sure. The local school district is providing meals to to the greater uh, communities that we live in, and for I for children. Correct. I went there to go pick up said meals, and I was like, "Hey, I'm going to get these meals." And the lady said, "How many children do you have?" And I said, "One." And she said, two? And I said, "Nope, just one." And she said, "You get two bags." And I said. <laughs> I only need one bag. And she said, you'd be helping me out to take a second bag. And I said, got you. No problem, lady. So I took the second bag, and then I quickly realized that I did not have that sort of room, nor did I anticipate that I would be eating that food. So I spread the wealth a little bit. And, you know, in honor of of, uh, me being this gentleman's brother, I said, why don't you come get this free bag of food? And now... He's got cheeseburgers cooked from frozen. <laughs> so, so I why drove was it this over- segment called Troxel? Tell us what <laughs> had for lunch. <laughs> because like <laughs> we asked Troxel, he didn't say goddamn thing except ask my brother. 
Yeah. No, I was He's I was leading this. him into it. I was leading him into it because I knew he'd be good at that. But the important so thing I don't know what that implies. No, it was he was good at that. That That's was good. Sexual. No, now you're being weird. Now you're actually making it weird. Um, but the to in summation, what I did was I drove over to this guy's uh house and there was a bag of food outside the door, and inside of this bag of food was frozen hamburger. Uh, corn dog. Uh, there's a, there's these little cheesy uh, pullaways, these little cheesy like pizza looking deals. Um, a churro was in there. Uh, some pancakes. So today for my lunch, I had I had. So you, had all of more, <laughs> you had a whole day's worth of food for your lunch. <laughs> you had all of that. I had a cheeseburger and a corn dog and some pizza pullaways. Some cheesy pullaways and some pancakes. And a, a sandwich and a soup and a half sandwich. No, um, I mean right. What I had was is I had the cheeseburger that was cooked from frozen. I just cooked it in the microwave because what do you keep like saying? What do you mean cooked from frozen? Like why do you talk like that? Is so, you had to, so you had to take the frozen patty. Why you do you talk like that? <laughs> I don't you get it. You <laughs> each said it more than once, and I'm like, is this a Troxel thing? I don't think no, so. No, I was just going <laughs> back on his idiocy, that's all. Oh, I was like, I don't understand. Why do you say that? I just, it's 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 what it is. So you just, it was just a frozen... Burger. It was a frozen meat patty, and you put that you put that on a plate and put that in the microwave for about a minute or so. No one watching doesn't understand how to use a microwave, but I just that's the phrase cooked from frozen. I was questioning not what the, it meant. Like I get what something means to be cooked when it's frozen, you fuck. Like, well, then, well, then why would you ask that question? Why would you use that phrase cooked from because frozen? Because that's what it is. You're cooking it from frozen. It's going from frozen to cooked in the same And people just say what was in that bag, Trox? He'd say a frozen cheeseburger. That's it. Like, <laughs> I, and no one assumes you ate it from frozen. And, and the thing is, is that even his description is bunk because it was a fully cooked cheeseburger that was just frozen. So, so it's he's not just like... heating from frozen. <laughs> yeah, that would yeah. sound more accurately moronic. Okay, so I took a frozen patty and heated it up in the microwave. What about and the then... corn dog? How did you eat that? I haven't yet. That's still in the freezer. I'm excited from about frozen. that. But Is that I'm frozen gonna... <laughs> from frozen currently? <laughs> that, that one's currently frozen as well as are the pizza pullaways, and I'm going to have to cook those from frozen as well. Oh, um, man, but you ate those pancakes, didn't you? <laughs> I fucking did have those pancakes after I had <laughs> that burger. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. I waited a little bit. I waited like maybe a good hour or so, but then I was just sitting there, and I was like, I got pancakes. There were just two ones. They were little guys. And they, they <laughs> came with a little package of uh, syrup. And, there you go. Uh, there you go. Threw those in the microwave. Those were also cooked from frozen. And then I put some <laughs> butter on them, some syrup. God nothing damn, says, good. Nothing says a balanced lunch like a cheeseburger and pancakes. <laughs> and some good old pizza pullaways. <laughs> Courtesy of the local school district. Thank you, hey. superintendent, whatever your name is. I just I wanted to hear your view. Always. I'll tell you right now, bro. We found out about that shit. I've taken my kids there every day for probably two months. Mm -hmm. We went at Thanksgiving. We got a turkey. We got a fucking full meal that we could have fed eight people with. Damn. I've only been doing it for like two weeks. I was like majorly late to the game because I, I just didn't. I told you about it. I'm like, go, bro. I know, and I just didn't think to do it. And then all of a sudden, I got an email from the district that was like, hey, uh, we have a lot of food. We need to feed the family. So just, like, come and get your food. And that shit and so, you were saying, like, yesterday I went up. I was like, hey, ladies, two hot chocolate. Like, meaning, like, two hot meals and then, like, chocolate milk. She was like, you said four? And I was like, four? She's like, yep, yeah, thank you. <laughs> like, some days they're just like, we need to get rid of it. So, yeah. but Otherwise, it's dope, man. You know, it's either that or they throw it in the garbage. I you, saved you a want... fuck ton of money over all this COVID shit from that, so I ain't even hating on it at all. So man, I, I, I'm a I huge ain't hating fan. on it. I ain't hating on it either. I hope that that lady that hooks up my brother keeps uh, hooking her, hooking him up like that because I would love more more school lunches. It's really good. Jack! It makes me... <sighs> <laughs> we heard you. <laughs> not to say not to say that you should be dishonest or nothing but if you just went up and you said i have a kid they'd give one to you every day like they just I, I, I i said that to him on the phone when he was telling me about it's this. the so truth like, I, it, I, it sounds like i could just go up there and just get food and they would just hand it to me he's like yeah definitely 
You guys yeah. know me. Like, I don't exactly come off as somebody who's like a caring father of any sort when you just like don't know that about me. Yeah. You know, like I, I look I look sketch and I realize that. When I first <laughs> went up without the kids, I was so nervous. I was coming up with like a backstory for my real story. Like I was like, you're not gonna believe me. I just felt so weird. And she just get handed me two big ass bags of food, like, see you tomorrow. I was like, really? Like I don't have to bring them. I brought their social security cards and like picture ID. <laughs> I, I didn't know how that worked. You brought some locks of hair just to prove you're like this is children's hair. Okay, yeah, right? Where do you think I, I got this? I put it back in my mouth. It's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, oh, man. But no, I, I ain't on it at all. We've saved a ton of money, bro. That's real oh. shit. And ha had I not been doing this uh, this nonsense diet that I'm on, then I would. My brother. Would oh not yeah, have that's that. one thing. That's why kids are like fucking fat. Like it's all like <laughs> prepackaged, like not like great shit. Like it's, it's definitely not like healthy and food. Shit. Yeah. No, it's it's legit. Like mostly bread. But you yeah, know exactly. <laughs> I I would if I was allowed to, I would eat that whole bag. But yo, dog, those pancakes were fire, though. Like, I, I, I've even cooked from Welcome Frozen. back to episode 18 of Fat Kid Talk. <laughs> How to get free food and maximize your input. <laughs> and I am. Like, they got me thinking about how much I like pancakes and about how much I'd like to make them for real. But, like, you know how easy and cheap it is to just make pancakes? <laughs> Yeah. I got I got the 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 it's biscuit like pancake, in, in the if you have right that now. and water you're you're there. And it only take like 5 minutes, but here's the deal. The in the microwave from frozen took 2 minutes. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> if you're going to cook something, you get a bag of food and something in that is super cold to the point where it's hard. <laughs> what would you what would you call that and like how would you cook it? Uh, what? <laughs> like super cold to the point like frozen? Is that the word you're oh, looking for? That yeah. would be it. And then, okay. then what do you got to do with that frozen piece of food? Well, it depends on the type of food, but you may have to thaw it like slowly, or you can do it on like low power in the microwave so you don't fucking murder the outside of it while it's still icicle in the middle. So, so you're what would you, you call would that cook process? It? You oh, yeah. It? yeah. What would you, you could cook it. You can, and, what? What, and, what are, and what are you cooking? I don't know. I don't know what so if you ever the point we're trying to get to here is Troxy Cotton goes, he keeps what using the phrase cooked from frozen and acts like that's just a term that people use. That is a term that people use. You just cook it. You don't cook it from frozen. That sounds like it's out of the movie. I am a person. I'm using it. It's a term that people use. I can't be the All only right, one. Never mind. I'm over. You're cooked from frozen. We got to get off this topic. Me from off. Listen. I, I think <laughs> At the end of the day, all we needed to know was that Troxy Cotton enjoyed his lunch and that he ate multiple days worth of lunch in one lunch. This now, segment has been Ask Me About My Lunch. I say props to the uh, the, the government across the country, at least for that, because mm -hmm. that's dope what they're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm I, really, fan. I really appreciate what they're doing and, um, you know, keep it up. I love pancakes. Good. Well, hey, I, I want to uh, change topics here on you guys and hit you with, with this guy that I just found to be uh, – uh, remarkably calm. Точно тут это было. Стою я вчера, в общем. Сигарету курю, никому не мешаю. Его друг откуда не возьмись. Такая бешеная машина. Ну, примерно вот так вот. Ну, та желтая была. Ну, что, завтра на этом же месте? Fuck, bro. Uh, I mean, I mean, just like that. Obviously, it's not the first time this has happened. <laughs> well, that's he lives on a slippery blind corner or something. He was telling a story he of how it happened just how, that day. How just yesterday the the same thing happened, except that car was yellow. <laughs> and the way that he doesn't even move, and then takes a drag of his cigarette and goes, <laughs> except that one was yellow. <laughs> I know, man. It's just like it, this shit happens on the daily. With the exact trajectory of the vehicle as it comes flying off the road, you know, and he knows better than to stand there to give the interview. Well, I was going to say, the camera crew, you know, no, we got to move. I right mean, here. that's literally we got to move five feet over Russian corner. <laughs> like you know, right, right below there, there's like just piles of dead cars, like an acne <laughs> amount of dead cars and just rotting flesh people. You know what I mean? Oh man, you made it real dark there at the end. 
I, it like was, it was, it, it, it was Acme started. Cars, <laughs> and that that was like cheerful and like reminiscent of childhood, and then rotting flesh people. What yeah. part was cheerful or reminiscent of childhood when those cars go flying? What the colors? <laughs> you think there's like, a lot of people? Did, did you remember the, the color yellow when you were a child, and that's why? Because like Road Runner, like I loved watching that when I was a kid, and that was filled with all kinds of crashes. People dying in those cars. What do you mean Road Runner? I don't, that's I don't make that connection to Russia. If those it's real people. Like, Coyote. If those real people in that car did die, uh, the the cameraman nor the gentleman giving the interview seemed to really care or have any urgency. That's why it could be right. Russia or Detroit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you're they telling me that I for first date, so you know they don't want to make it worse. Don't move him. Yeah, and oh we have God. we have learned that in Russia their ambulances are run by horse. So <laughs> didn't somebody at the end go up? Oh, we better not stand there tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> like I could have swore I didn't make that up. I think I heard that. No, he said so. Same place tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, man. I'm telling yeah, you, I, I want to see that body, like that pile of just car and <laughs> and person, <laughs> <laughs> rotting flesh. <people. laughs> that pile of car and person. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, it's just gonna be like. Like no country for old men, like just like abandoned cars and persons, you know, like all over. <laughs> just persons laying there saying, I walk. <laughs> exactly. I walk. <laughs> <laughs> you walk by, you look at the car with an ounce of life left, and you just shoot it right in the headlight. <laughs> yeah. You just look at him, you're like, I ain't got no agua. Mm-hmm. Oh, this this wow. got to a fun place fast. I'm glad we really did. That made me cry a little. Real dark. We yeah, went that's straight okay. Josh Brolin on him. Take that. Yeah. Sometimes that's what's got to happen, folks. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, and I do feel like <laughs> I blew my proverbial load a bit early because we also have some videos for our fun Russia or Detroit segment today. There's, but, there's a you know, proverb about loads. Uh huh. Proverbial load. Road. Tell don't us. Don't get uh, brogered on your buddy. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I was I was gonna ask for that, but he, but he got it. Okay, he had, he had it on deck. <laughs> the old Sometimes problem. I'm glad when I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that was pretty good. Now yeah. that one showed you somebody who's very calm. Now I want to show you somebody who's fucking a maniac. Okay, totally different. Here you go. Cocaina, cocaina. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I Was mean that like the video I video for that Bolivia song <laughs> <by each other>? <laughs> <laughs> The kicks may all made sense, but then once he started throwing that elbow down on it, I was like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well he like he went from like a hundred miles an hour down to about three. Like he <laughs> he I couldn't have done that, but he went from full blast to like <sighs> <laughs> like Jesus well, and, I, Christ, just die. and as I first started watching that, and I was watching him kick, I was like, "Oh, this is entertaining." And then as soon as it fell, and he starts dropping the elbows, and then he goes from elbows to punches. I was like, "Man, this guy just punched a tree to bits." That's good stuff. I mean, yeah, that, I could not do that. I thought his leg was gonna like wrap around the tree or something. Like there's gonna be one of those like broken limb videos. You know what I mean? Like, I, I that's what I was expecting. No, it was a tree. He beat. He kicked the shit out of a tree. That was impressive. Mm-hmm. I, I did like it. He's stronger I, than nature, and we I and we great salute deal. him. We hail yeah. you, salute like, you. He saw those videos where those dudes like build like a pool or a whole house out of like fucking homemade bricks in the middle of the Ethiopian desert or whatever and jungle. I guess is probably a better term. You know what I'm talking about? Have you seen those? That traps? pool, that pool vid- building yeah. video that you're talking about is the greatest. There's a bunch of them now, like, and I just feel like this guy's like, oh yeah, they got all these videos because they got a fucking YouTube plaque for like millions of views on that video. For real, one of those so dudes. Good. And uh, no, but I'm just picturing those guys like getting all famous, and he's like, I'll just 
start my own by hand organic fucking tree trimming company and he's doing a great job i mean we're, we're talking about him listen it, 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 here's hand. my deal i think <laughs> that episode 20 is going to be the one that's going to get us a youtube plaque Just yo out. hey youtube did it's you feel like coming on the show do you think you do you think we could get youtube on the show i would love to get youtube on the show mr or mrs youtube if you're watching they're a strange. I don't, I don't. I don't know. Just, just say the YouTubes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You know. <laughs> you know. You you gotta watch CNN more. So, so chicken. Do you want to? Do you want to talk about uh, your your tardy today? Yeah. Right, should we Should we just put you on blast? Yeah. Play it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're on mute. <laughs> Obviously all just for the shock value, but that guy was fucking great. What the just fuck was that? Thing? as fuck. I don't know. What like, was that? Like an iron poker for your like your your fire pit. Maybe. That was legit. Way to go, chicken. I, I mean, yeah, I don't even know that. what to say. Like those two dudes just were staring at him, and he just drops like I don't know what he had, like the the weight pin maybe or something. Man, it was, was like a, it was like a jouster. That was really good. And, and then he walked away problem? all like fucking swole Arnold's from back in the day, like fucking <laughs> owning it. Oh, I loved it. That was quality stuff, boys. I agree. Good times. Yeah. I, I love when they do shit like that. Th that's like, the type of video. Chicken? That's exactly the way it was tardy. That's the type of video that we should be playing during Scrub Hot Fitness Talk. Thank Scrub you. Hot Fitness Talk. Join us next Goodness week. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. So the oldest so, type of fitness I'm into. Did my so fitness wanted, program today. That's the update. Yeah, I bet you didn't. I sure did. <laughs> the true motivation to lose weight so you can finally bend down that far. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, it doesn't work. So I want to take I not have eaten food. And this track <laughs> that I want to take us to is an old track. It's what? An old, it's an old one. Um, is so it a goodie? It's an oldie. But it's a goodie. So I want my boy Jay to introduce this one and, and give us a little backstory on this track and how this all came What's about. What's funny is, I did you pick the one that we said that we were going to play? Yes. <laughs> I, was, I, I thought you were waiting to see if we got him on the show. I was like, well, we're never going to be able to play the song. Hey, Jay, um, before that, what's the name <laughs> of our new track that's coming out? Macroaggressive. <laughs> <Get up. laughs> Go ahead. Um... um yeah, PSA, right? That's what you're yep. that is yep. what we're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how often I get listened to around here. I like it when I do. This is fun. Um <laughs> PSA is uh the first track we did with Mac Lethal. We've only done two. I said that like we've got a whole catalog, but uh it could we, be. we we hit him up uh after knowing him from the Juggalo show days, and surprisingly he said yes. Uh he produced the beat. He sent us like seven or eight beats to choose from. Um even mix the track more so than I was able to, or that he was committed to for like an insanely low amount of money. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember Trox, but very, very low. Like, uh, do, do we want to say how much money it was? But yeah, no. I, remember exactly, I, I remember exactly the I don't know. I feel now. weird, but very, but very low, way less. Very, than very minimal. It, it's probably what he would charge us today to return a text message. Guys, just, just say <laughs> definitely he, to do this show. He yeah. did all that for seven dollars and eighty cents. It was I really it was it was, million unmarked bills on a forklift. Yeah, I was gonna say it was twenty two thousand nice. dollars. But like you can't that's you can't great touch him for, for that future. today. I'm saying. Like you just that's what it costs for him to do an impression of your style of rap during one of his style of rap videos. <laughs> and now he's uh, out there getting that pancake money, God. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> Mac Lethal, super huge fan. I'm a Mac Lethal Mark. We've done many shows with them, but this was the first time we ever did a, a song with them. We reached out, um, he wrote back right away. Uh those days were fun. 
Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he did this track with us. It's super dope. It's supposed to be 16 bars. He did like 24. So that was super dope. And uh, here's PSA Alpha College Degree Well Wasted. Did, uh, our, my very first record. So mm -hmm. um, fuck yeah. I'm getting a lot of beeps in my ears from the text message conversations. I'm getting confused. PSA, Keep it. Hey Dirty, Mac Lethal. Me and Juggalo J, finally, here with the public service announcement. Uh, don't come up to neither one of us talking that slick shit, motherfucker. Claw your goddamn eyeballs out. Claw your eyeballs out. You know what I mean. Let's go, Jay. My turn. Hey, bitches on my dick kill snitches with the clip. Man, my shit is so vicious when I spit. When I hock a loogie, something sick. Sock it to me. Come and get stomped. I'm loony. I got a hundred million demon spirits talking to me. Turn the infrared beam on. Lock the Uzi right until you sing a pretty dream song like Medusa. Got a couple cobras growing from my scalp. The recession here. Drop a love potion in the drought. Juggalo Jay, the only juggalo I fuck with. Can you feel the undertow and suction? Cut him slow. Cut him open. Gutless. Cool. And so smart, throw darts, I'm a dark ghoul with no heart Time bomb ticking, I am hissing like a python Turn them to insomniacs, living with the lights on Scared stiff, I got a gun to your head But I'll let you go for a couple beers and a spare spliff I put together words with my iron hands Try and scram, I put your nerves on a frying pan And high demand are the Mac lethal CDs I'm the president, go ahead and smack people freely CD ass wax style, my hands will break Your girl's kinda pretty, but I can't relate Late, so I won't. So shut your fucking mouth, bitch. Bring me the remote. I'm such a damn demon and I'm dope, Jake. Okay, I'm gonna take it. You know I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna show your girl a secret so she does not have to fake it. Throwing kids at old lady shopping for their food and not even the cause I seen. Just to flat out be rude. Until I got dollars, keep counting cents. And you gon' watch me scale a fence and do backflips in a past tense. Am I afraid of birds? The answer is yes. I start screaming like a bitch who got a stain up on a prom dress. Now if it's snowing outside, be sure to grab your coat and Spit fire like the words is burning up from out my throat A couple rapid white boys, we can never be stopped This old nine, we got sophisticated scrub hop Now if you play Biggie, let me be Pac We can run around with squirt guns, thugging up on every block What I'm trying to say, the track is legendary Yo, we playing cat and mouse like a modern day Tom and Jerry A lot like a bomb, you know we wanna blow Yo, and you watch the fuse ignite as soon as we start to flow So, we hooked up many, many years ago And now we're making tracks and it's years past the radio when you hear the news, you're surely gonna get pissed That a canonizing black clover banger does exist My final letter's written and it reads like this Peace to Troxel Mac, lethal bare knuckle Chris <laughs> Hey, what? Yeah Got my bike, asshole Oh, shit <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to hug him for saving his life or something. Legit falls onto the dude's bike. He, he slows down, brings him to a complete stop, and then he gets off and punches him in the face. Let's do that one one more time. Yeah, because what, what led to that? I'm not sure, but it looks like he's caught on his bike. That bike goes bye-bye. I just don't understand why the hanger-on guy is he's all... like, hey, man, are you okay? Oh. <laughs> I would love the context. Like what happened around I mean, that he probably, thing? He probably bumped him or whatever. Like the accident, you know, the dude who did the swing and figured whatever accident happened was, you know, not the his other fault. dude's fault. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? That most of the time those end up in fucking like sip and puff wheelchairs, those accidents. That guy saved his life. You think he would have hugged him and been like grateful as fuck. Are they called I, that? Oh yeah, like that. That's when uh, you use the straw to fucking operate your wheelchair. Sipping yeah. cup. That's what. That's what it's called. Oh, I hundred percent. I hope like, I don't end up in a sip and puff. Like, yeah, you fucking definitely hope you don't. But I'm just saying, like, I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, you, that could have been horrible. I lost the race, but you didn't. You you let me not die. Said he fucking punched him right in the helmet. Like that's just dumb too. And of course, see, the chicken knew about this. It's helmet violence. I'm telling you guys, he is on to something. The chicken is really into helmet violence. <laughs> what did we say it. last week? He was beating his helmet or something? <laughs> beating <laughs> beating <laughs> his helmet. <laughs> I forget what we said, but that shit was or fun. Or murdering, murdering his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of last week, I was watching last week's episode in, uh, in my living room, as one does. 
And my child walked into the room, uh, and she looks up at the That's screen. That's a horrible goes, I'm, I'm ducking right down there as I know the story. She, she looks up <laughs> at the screen, walks into the room, and goes, is the chicken smoking something? And I said, you're not supposed to be watching this show. <laughs> you need to get out of here. <laughs> that was, uh, of course, my immediate reaction to that question. I mean, is this that is not an Asian way to get a child to one year old? Yeah, what was that Nero. chicken? Isn't that like a guaranteed way to get a child to want to watch something? <laughs> yeah, because it's much. forbidden. This Slow is forbid. kid, red button. This is forbade. <laughs> oh, this, like this I really liked uh, Married with Children. You know, when I was like, I don't know, fourth or fifth grade, something like that, and then mom's fucking banned it. That shit came on before she got home from work. Yeah, mine was Jerry Springer. Mine was Howard Stern. My for some oh, reason my parents didn't mind me watching that a lot because I think my stepdad was all about it. He was like, "Yeah, I'll just say that you were watching it if your mother comes in." Your mother. Your mother. <laughs> Love that. Yeah, respect your mother. But hey, if, they, if they if your mother comes in, you were watching these stripper titties. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say titties, <laughs> but it sounded like it would be funny. It sounds like something he'd say though. I, yeah, I, not I, titties I though. I, you, you'd never hear that out of my stepdad's mouth. No. You'd say tits, but not titties. That, that's that's too Jersey. I guess that's true. Yeah. Oh, it is. That's a good man right there. I'm telling you. But anyway, uh, things that were banned. Yeah. <laughs> that's when I'd be watching the Jerry Springer show, though. And then remember that um, Son of a Beach and that oh, shit that remember. Howard Stern created? Yep. I watched that before I knew he was involved just because it was raunchy and hilarious and like Came in on my little bedside TV so I could get my little knuckle shuffle on while I was a little kid. It was weird, but it worked. It worked. Whatever. Don't judge me. We all were there. We couldn't we get through. Guys weren't physically. We couldn't get through an episode of the show if we didn't talk about your porn habits as a child. So and you know <laughs> what? I I explored myself like 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 a champ. So what are you gonna tell me? Yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't mind. We That's not like even a porn happen. habit. That was on network television. I had problems, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> My like, go-to was uh, National Lampoon Summer Vacation, titties in the oh. shower. Oh yeah, yeah. The the one time wasn't that just like the vacation? Yeah, just yeah. regular vacation. Yeah. See, yeah. see, Mister Skinning it up over here, like at exactly the- uh, at nine minutes and fourteen seconds. There's a little side boob and a little back bush. Back a little fur back- burger. Rear rear <laughs> burger. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <Jesus> Christ. <laughs> back bush. Yikes. <laughs> that <laughs> rear burger. That's what's that shit's up. hilarious. What do you call it? What do you call if you get that rear burger out of the freezer? <laughs> from frozen <laughs> rear <from> burger. Frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, that's good times, man. But uh, that's really good times. Yes, you know, props to being watching shit we shouldn't have as younger children, and how it shaped us and formed us today. It turned um, us into these. Sick maniacs that run the show. I was gonna say fine, outstanding gentlemen, but sure. Yeah, somebody's running. I'm the doing show. great. Yeah. Speaking of running the show, I was okay. doing the head nod like I'm at a wedding and I can't dance. Mm-hmm. That's how I dance. Is like I can't get my beer and. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a good song. All right. Hey, I got Russia on my shirt. <laughs> Jesus. I got Russia on my shirt. I, lo- I love how you edited out the uh, potential nudity. That's good. <laughs> That's what we're going to get flagged for this time. <laughs> yep. have to blur out nudity. that fucking shirt. All right, Here- here's your first one. Riddle me this one. Here you go. See what that is? That's a fuck that right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is a turkey attacking a man on a motorcycle. <laughs> fuck, man. I got legit nervous for this dude. No. <laughs> He's chasing I don't look the, that, that, that Oh, no, no. I hate their wings, y'all. Like, the wings fuck me up. Like when they open their wings like that, like you said, oh no! Ah, I don't like it. 
That's like a horror movie for me, man. Like, I hate when their wings open because then they're going to get you, man. Like, they're coming. <laughs> they're bigger than you when they do this. What happened to you as a kid? I don't. I want to know, but I don't. You know, like, a therapist <laughs> would love me, man. Like, I tell you, like, I'm a wet dream for a therapist. I have a lot going on in there. Yeah, the amount of repressed memories must be just uh, I, I really wonder what it was. Like, my mom, I've said this before. She hates it, but she always, we had a, a bird name. Uh, Smokey was the bird's name. I, I, I weird <laughs> that that was the case now that I think back on that. <laughs> but uh, you'd walk by and it would just hiss at you all the time. But it loved my mom. It would let my mom put her finger in there, crawled right up, feed it crackers. You her walk by, it would hiss. And all the time, my mom's like, you go in there, it'll draw blood, he'll draw blood. And then later on, life, I think we just like, figured out what happened in your childhood. Well, I, and I've been like, <laughs> she, why don't you like birds? And I was like, you. Like, you're the reason. Like you, 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 you made me It'll afraid of Smokey and everything. It's like, oh, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> no, that's not even a good impression of my mom. But anyway, but like... <laughs> No, I'm not ridiculous. You fucking terrified me of these things. And you're like, oh, just be fine. Yeah, I mean, I, you, you can even tell just by how you describe it because I've never heard anybody use the word hiss to describe a noise that a bird makes before, ever. It but would you're hiss like, it, it walks by and, <laughs> and, like, yeah. and it would like open its little mouthy beak and shit. Like, it's how big fucking, was it? Yeah, not even. That's how I describe my dick, and it's too small. Like, it, the, the bird was. <laughs> Like a bird, I don't know. Like it was a bird size. It looked like, <laughs> it looked like it was the type me, of bird you want to fucking get out of here. <laughs> yeah, all right, so, so fast forward. I don't give a fuck. I'm in college and I'm home for summer, and my little brother is home, who is 15 years younger than me. I'm sleeping down in my room. He comes down and says, "Hey, mom says you need to help me." And she's not, and she says you're not gonna like it. And I was like, "What happened?" He's like, "The bird got out in the house." And I was like, "Then I'm not going upstairs. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about mom. I don't give a fuck about you." And I call my mom, and she's terrified. You have to help if it gets out. Like that's the blah blah blah. I made my brother get every piece of coat, clothing, a uh, coats, nets. I I was in like oven mitts and like soccer fucking. Not soccer is a bad example, but all the sports shit that they had, you know what I mean. I was like, drop one. Oh, I was that ter- might resemble armor. You put it on. Oh, exactly, exactly. And I got it in the net, and I started crying. And I handed the net to my little brother, and I was like, "I fucking hate this place." And I think I lived with you after that. Yeah, I was like, "I don't want to be here anymore. This yeah. isn't fun for me. I can't <laughs> smoke pot here, and there's birds in the house. I'm going to trucks. <laughs> Fuck this shit." You know who didn't have a bird? <laughs> this guy. This My guy. mom did not have an un- uh, unlimited supply of Anthony's. <laughs> and that I had. <laughs> but anyway, we could go yeah, over a whole show on like stories just from that one summer I lived at your house. That was a fun summer. We had some fun times. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, fuck we'll do bird. A recurring and segment. Got... Say what? We'll do a recurring segment. We'll do <laughs> weekly <laughs> stories from the summer at uh, Big Trox's house. Uh, there's there's a few. Just there's such a large element of all those stories that I fucking don't want to talk about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but like, I think everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, Does it rhyme right like, with Satan? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> when the homie looked in the neighbor's yeah, like house and that lady was changing and she came out and like angry like I mullet thought- bill. I thought oh, about that story legit this week. Like, it oh, I did it. My head right and, now, <laughs> and I, I, yeah, that was, uh, uh, that was a very terrifying event for sure. So, you know, now that no one else knows what we're talking about, um, not even we'll me. I later. know I'm so curious. Detroit. Oh my God. I can't wait. No, it felt like Detroit chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're trying to decide where that video is from. It was a Detroit turkey. <laughs> That was, a, that was a Detroit turkey. Yeah. It looked yeah. like a Detroit turkey. I think he plays for the Detroit turkeys. Man, yeah. bottom line is all of y'all would be terrified, too, if a turkey was pissed at you that close. It, it, it's I would all fun and games until a turkey's coming I, at you. I would vaporize a turkey. Zero, zero problems. I would liquefy a turkey. Well, like, I, <laughs> with my foot? With my elbow? I would treat you it like that guy. Wait, are you asking for a challenge? Bird. Why do you want give a you challenge? a challenge? I would, I would fucking give me hit that bird, I and then I would fucking attack. elbow that bird until that bird was just feathers and paste on the concrete. 
And then you'll come on an emaciated old man. (laughs) And then you're going to look foolish. You're going to (laughs) come on the man now? This this poor clip has evolved. No, what that that song was about me coming on the show. (laughs) I was coming on the show. (laughs) <laughs> an emaciated old man clip. No, don't do that on the show. Do that in yeah, your I was going to say, we wait, for, we wait for the record thing to go away. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, oh yeah. Fuck. All right. No, so I would Detroit? not be that no, afraid of a turkey because, guess, yeah. because I would destroy that turkey. That, that's my point. Yeah, right. destroy All right. shit. Jay Dirt, you, you need to put a pin in that uh, summer at Big Trox's house and, and we'll we'll go back to that crazy fucking story. But for now, Here's another edition of Russia or Detroit. Yeah, like a fucking man. She should have. That, <laughs> that was great. I was so worried that was going to go in another direction, and I was going to be like, man, what the fuck did Chicken Q have on this one? <laughs> but that man. ended exactly the way that I was hoping it That's went. What's even funnier there is I was like about to say, like, I did not know where this was going because this does not <laughs> seem like a Troxel pick. Like, this is like, <laughs> man, And then I just realized that it was a chicken pick, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, absolutely. Like, I'm glad that she did that, and I wish all the kids would have got up and beat his ass like that movie. Kids, see another throwback. Mm-hmm. Like skateboard, skateboarder, skateboarder in the face, man. You ever seen somebody get beat with a skateboard? Because I have. You ever seen the movie Kids? Shit. Like, yeah. When he started poking that little girl's head, I'm thinking like the father and me is like, I'm gonna fucking fly to Russia and beat this motherfucker's ass. What if you could fly to Detroit? That was Russia. Hmm. Like, that could have been on mute and I would have told you that was Russian. No, that was a Russian parochial school in Royal Oak, Michigan. <laughs> that was actually Chicago. And and they just have not adapted. <laughs> you see it on the chalkboard like I, we, you, them, us. Yeah. You know. They're talking about pronouns. Just like I was we gonna say that's time. that's the new way you describe things, right? Are we gonna talk about pronouns on the show now? No. <laughs> we shouldn't do that with Jay Dirt. I don't want to offend them or they or their. <laughs> or all Leave it at that. Time. Is there anything else in Russia or Detroit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I might have a little, another little something that could either be from Russia or Detroit. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I was so hoping that was gonna happen. Like that what did he expect? Like, <laughs> like dude goes on spinning those pins or whatever they are for like a good minute before that. Like he's fucking good at it. And it just he, plays out. he lost he's right his talent marble. a second ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's he, was so good. He, he, he flung it in there with just his finger strength like that to pop the bulb. That was so crazy. Sick. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God! He, he, he used to be, be good at spinning pens. Now he's good at using a sipping puff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, <laughs> no, no, that's 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 more for spinal cord injury. That guy just suffered a brain injury. That those are different different uh, adaptive tools. You know what you I mean? You know how hard he fell. Yeah, or what he hit. You know, you have a valid yeah. point, sir. I apologize. Remember that movie Million Dollar Baby when she fell and she hit her neck on the stool and then she was like in a sipping puff after that. No, she wasn't in a sip and puff after that. She was in. Uh, that was an Uber. Ford. You're not understanding how this works. <laughs> she was in a Fleetwood uh, headlock after that. If you know what I'm saying. A Fleetwood headlock. Clint Eastwood headlock. Oh, I'm like Fleetwood. <laughs> Return of the Mac. No, I was just giving a little spoiler to Million Dollar Baby. Yeah. I feel like uh, we've got derailed. We got something to wrap this up, or uh, got <laughs> they got million dollar asshole. baby. <laughs> All right, so I mean that one was obviously like Japan or something, but uh, it's definitely Japan. Just because he was speaking Japanese, <laughs> <laughs> no, they invented the electrocution. <laughs> all right, here's here's the last one. Here's the last one for you for this week. Check this out. All right, all right.
Братан, скажи ему, что пускай поделает. Пускай поделает что-нибудь. Скажи, пускай поделает что-нибудь. Ну, лапами там пусть. Каким что показывает? Миша! Охуеть! How many scars does it take to train a bear that well? Holy shit. Was it real? Yeah, that was a real bear. I went through like watching that, like three different, like, oh, it's real. It's not. It's like a bear just real. knows how to say fuck you and blow a horn and drive yeah, a bear. car. Well, and like the first, the first sort of contact that it started to make with the people <laughs> making the video was like, it kind of like just did like these little looks over, like, bro, be chill. Be chill, man. Why are you like making a big deal over there? I was like, like, dog, I am at ten and two. My eyes on the road. Shut the fuck up. There's a cop chill. behind us. Shut the fuck out, bro. Like we're just driving here. And then he's but like, then he's hold like, on. Oh, Wait till I get my horn right? out. Yeah. <laughs> Throwing a couple of fuck yous to the passersby, blowing his horn back, like, <laughs> like driving a little miniature car. Like, you really think that wasn't a person in there? No, I think that man. was fair. I think fair. And I think and, the driver has warrants, and so he puts the bear in the sidecar. <laughs> Who's fucking pulling him over? You know, if the bear can blow a horn and fucking give you one. Oh, the guy that you gave him the horn, the car was attached to his? Yeah, it was a fucking motorcycle with a sidecar. A motorcycle sidecar. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm like, dude, the guy's a bear doesn't drive. Like, I'm not fucking just <laughs> way that that was a real bear. You're Fuck like, there's not a real bear driving no. a car, guys. I'm sorry. I'm like, <laughs> Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. That video to me was just mildly entertaining, and I, I really enjoyed it. And then as soon as he handed the bear the horn, I was like, oh, <laughs> the joke. Yeah, no, that was that was really good. But I mean, I you know, I think that that bear might have been trained well enough to drive a car. I believe I saw that same bear in Grizzly Man. So I think he's been in the business for yeah, quite a while. Signed autographs, like sidecar bear. Sidecar bear, Grizzly Man bear. I'm yeah, pretty sure right. I that was the same bear from the Revenant, the one that uh, that raped Leonardo DiCaprio. Remember that one? Eight, he, the, that bear ate Timothy Treadwell, then raped Leonardo DiCaprio, then mm -hmm. drove a sidecar in Russia. Yep. And the and answer is right. The mother in Brave. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all the bears we know. Uh, <laughs> <I'm Reverend. laughs> and that new guy who works at the hospital. If you're not in the Revenant or Brave, I don't know you. <laughs> yep, that's it. I like how you're like he raped the guy from Titanic, and I'm like, and he was in that cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> I was following Big Tracks. That's lead. like it's Gilbert Godfrey idea. being in Aladdin. What? Okay. The app. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, I think you're probably in good shape. If, if we're being real, they didn't no, start uh, a quarterback two weeks ago. They had more interceptions than completions. I know that was sad. They had Poor s- what, what six interceptions and one completion? I don't know. It was <laughs> fucked. It was really bad. But listen, football is stupid. Said, I'm done. Uh, nobody cares about it anymore. Nobody, nobody's interested in Check fantasy football out. anymore. Yeah, exactly. Because he's like, fuck fantasy football. Really, it's stupid. First of all, first he's going all, to get um, his cat. I bet. Secondly of all, oh, I got my sign. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> you dick. Um, fantasy football is dumb. I lost. It's over, Johnny. That's all. So why don't you quit? Nothing's pussy. over. Yeah. You know what? All, all I need to do is I play the guy in first place this week. If I could beat him, I would be oh so happy. No, you gotta beat him good. in three weeks. That's when it matters. I know that's true. Because I'm in the playoffs. This no week and lose to him no. next week or the week after. Nobody yeah. cares. I know. But, you know, I, I would like for Chicken to have to mail me the trophy again. So that's my goal. Is I would really like for that trophy to be back in my house for the third time. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Fantasy Football Talk. Anyways, the reason why I brought up football is because we got uh, uh, some some funny new stuff surrounding football. So here, check this out. On the field is confirmed. Runner stops short of the goal line. Thank you, Jeff. (laughs) (laughs) How has that happened? Aren't they all just cardboard people? (laughs) Not everywhere, no. Depends no, on there's what state you're in. I, oh I my, think that, that was that like in Florida. Florida. wife or something like. I mean, in Florida, <laughs> they're letting like eighty percent of the fans back into the oh, stadium. Yeah, so. anything go? No, they they let anybody. The teams are regulating themselves. If Miami wanted to sell out and could sell out, the government wouldn't stop them. But they're limiting. <laughs> they're limiting. Isn't Florida, like the fucking worst place to be right now. Yeah, uh, and, it's up there. And meanwhile, the 49ers have to play in Arizona. So <laughs> riddle me that one. <laughs> the Arizona 49ers? They, because Santa Clara County has banned all contact sports because of the coronavirus. So they had the 49ers. Oh, oh, I've heard about some shit like 49ers that. 49ers okay. can't play at home anymore. So they're playing where the Cardinals play. But Isn't in Florida, all the Can- Can- yeah, Canada teams having to like come down here and play in like, yep, in Florida, our, yeah. like practice fields and shit like that? Pretty much, if you're in Florida, anything goes. But we've all known that, you know that that's a Florida thing. Jesus, man, that's crazy. Yeah, wild. So, out that was nothing. very good. That's I, nuts. I really enjoyed so that. The we, audio we, was really important to your clip. I don't know if the audio works on my clip. Um, if it doesn't, all you need to know is there was a guy who was uh, rough the quarterback and a personal foul or whatever. He got ejected. Got a personal foul. Lay here on the quarterback, number 88, and an unsportsmanlike conduct, number 88 on the defense, has been disqualified. <laughs> You're disqualified. <laughs> and now he's been evicted from the league. <laughs> Oh Did my leave God. <laughs> well, not feared yeah. punching of the referee. Number I 88 actually, is going to jail. I saw that one this week, and I'm really glad that you pulled it because I neglected to. So that was that was very well done. Thank you. Was that even like college ball? Or was that just no, like that's high school? That's that high school. Last weekend. <laughs> Texas. Oh, yeah. really? That just happened last week? Yeah. And it's yeah, a high school game? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I really <laughs> yeah. like that. That if he doesn't get wild. drafted to the NFL, he can go into the UFC, maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he fucking the, uh, rocked that over. Yeah, and and the ref is getting drafted for the ICU. Oh no, big time! He's getting his own sip and puff. <laughs> <laughs> this, show, this episode has been brought to you by Sip and Puff. <laughs> Two puffs for right. That sounds like a bong with like a, a water bottle attached to it. All, like, it, it sounds like a you're pregame like a place that you can go to. It sounds to. funny, yeah. but like it's, I'm going to get all like for real for a minute. It's the coolest shit you've ever seen. Like, I don't, I don't know. Watching people use, I tried to use one once and I just like puffed my knee right through a fucking wall and it hurt really bad. 
Um, you know, when you zigged and you should have zagged, like I puffed mm-hmm. when I should have sipped, but it it's hard to do. But once you get it, watching people do it, it's like, God damn, man, like tech, uh, just the technology and the and, and inventions are nuts as fuck, man. I watched that movie, uh, The Upside with Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart. Nothing he, like it. He had one of those. So I feel like I, I have a very yeah. intimate knowledge of how that works. You know, when he was just explaining Puff Sip, that was the exact thing that I thought of too. And I was like, yeah, I saw Brian Cranston do that in a movie. I get it. <laughs> you can't remix it and call it Puff Sip. Like that's not, that oh, it's a sipping puff? I call it a puff sip. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're already acting like you're like you've lived a life. Well, yeah, I've kind of been around him a little bit, and I've kind of been watching Brian Cranston and films about that for years. So I just call it puff sip. Like, I mean, you know, I've seen Kevin Hart, so I'm good. everything. Everything I know in life, I learned from Brian Cranston. Okay, <laughs> right. Anyway, right. this right episode has been brought to you by dumb shit we talk about. <laughs> I every think, uh, every week. Chicken, you got. I think you got a couple more here for us. You wanna, you wanna take us here yeah. or something? Are you gonna chicken us up and chicken us out of here? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. The actual owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club will be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as so for fuck this, fuck you, job, bitches! Well, I quit. Not that I have a choice, but fuck it, I quit. <laughs> All right, we apologize for that. <laughs> that fucking danger, man. I Shit. love that one. Fucking I love bro. that one too, man. That I, I think that's a couple years old, but I remember just like seeing the best part of that one to me is the other anchor's face as soon as oh, the yeah. camera cuts back to her because she's like, <laughs> How do I recover from this? <laughs> No, because she's like, uh, Brittany, you're my ride. <laughs> like, we are fucking roommates, girl. Like, no. Could you like, imagine like a heads up before you did this shit week. today? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, we, were, we were sitting together last night smoking a blunt, and you didn't want to warn me that this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, that. that's too funny right there. Fuck it. I quit. Yeah. Which is an epic uh, way to quit your job. But if you want to go really over the top when you quit your job, you do it like this. Guys, what is this? Guys, all of you out right now. Jared, I'm here to tell you that I'm quitting. What's this? <laughs> 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 He's the king. He's, he's the best. That. Man. Like I want one of those when I'm going into the bedroom to have a moment with my wife. <laughs> I, wish, I, wish we that, I wish we had that clip where we were talking about Troxy Cotton leaving the movie theater. Uh, right? <laughs> I'm going to yeah. a concert. <laughs> yeah, Just no. Two each theater around and then oh, back man. out to watch movies and shit. <laughs> With big like sirens and lights going off. <laughs> what was all that I noise? Can't. Oh, there's a uh, AstroTurf show tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. It must have been something like that. Ridiculous. Employees ruin their four week careers here for these type of shows. Goddamn. I'm, and I must have been coming up on like ten weeks. It was. It was. It was getting pretty real. Man, you were almost committed. <laughs> no, the uh, <laughs> what? I said that was real good. Thanks, chicken. Thanks, chicken. Fuck it. You're welcome. I quit. I quit. Big truck. Not so much cotton. <laughs> is that is that how we're gonna end the show this week? Are we just all gonna quit? <laughs> okay. oh, I just I meant by shitting on you. I was like, I like that way we end that. Yeah. No. I watch these back and I'm like, man, I'm really mean that <laughs> or whatever we're calling you on the show. I'm and really making like, Troxy Cotton on the show, and then I'm like, "Well, I do it when he's when he's here too." So I guess like it's a, okay. When I think that, I have this thought of like maybe one of these shows, like I'll just be over the top nice to him. It's like, nah, I can't pull that shit off. Because he'll do something the back. like that, sticking a pin in his nose like a fucking chud. <laughs> a minute ago, you offered you'll that get over it. In the back. So I mean, I'd say the friendship is blossoming. Hey, so, oh, you guys, oh, oh. I'm not fucking looking for your shit, okay? All right. 
Well, yeah. Um, I don't know what else we got, guys. Because if he doesn't want to hear, hear our shit, I guess the show's over. I guess that's the end of Scrub Hop Talk. We Lucky. pretty much base our whole thing around dissing you. Well, nah, I guess can't. I'll be I'll be back for like another like eighty one or eighty two more times. But after that, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, we can't stop before episode twenty because that's going to be the one that gets us that platinum plaque, baby girl. And, and after and, episode 100, Troxy Cotton's contracts fulfilled. He's going on to all those shows, knocking down his door for him to be a part. He's going to go punch you, up scripts in Hollywood. Could you imagine know, right? what that's going to be like when we're at 100? We're going to be on our fifth best of. It's going to be super yeah. cool. And by, <laughs> by the 100th episode. Fifth best maybe, of? You're talking season five? Like, you think, like, <laughs> I like how we're going to break this down. Beginning of season six. I'm ready for it. Oh, man. That's 101. I know that's, what, that's the Dalmatian the episode. I think by episode 100, we're all going to have, like, you know, way better microphones and video setups, and it's going to look like... We know the chicken will be on at least 88 more. (laughs) (laughs) He's he's, he's ordering from Amazing.com. He thought it was Amazon. It's all just fucking bootleg shit. It's the, it's the it's the Wish bootleg site, right? It's the, it's the site that Wish laughs at. They send a flyer like you uh, literally should have gone with Wish. It would have made it. <laughs> you literally should have gone with Wish. <laughs> Here's your edible microphone stand. <laughs> oh my god! The light would have flipped on at least, right? <laughs> The light turned on. Please return the product. It is clearly defective. These are not supposed to work. Well, it's fucking Amazon. I'm going to have to, like, take it somewhere to return it. At least with Wish, you just, like, send them a picture. This shit don't work, and they give you money back. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah. And then a lot of times with Amazon, they'll just be like, uh, don't bother sending us the product back because it's going to cost us more to, to return it than you just throwing it in the garbage. Right. Like, the first time I attempted to buy one of these microphones was we might not even started recording yet. But yeah, I ordered one off a of wish. And I did that uh pick it up at the local store, you know, local store thing that I had never local wish on. store. Yeah. So like yeah, there's some like, make a wish like store. Stores, he picked it up at the fountain. Wish. And yes, yeah, like comes in a lucky it. penny and he pulls out a product. <laughs> pulls out a microphone. Oh, a microphone. <laughs> So I drove way out on a light. Oh, oh, a lunchbox. <laughs> no, no, a lunchbox I could have used. Um, so yeah, you go out there, you like show them your phone. They like scan the little QR code on it. Where's the store? Where do you go for this? I mean, there's a handful of them around, but the one that had the microphone, it was way, it was on, way on East Colfax, like uh, almost way out by that hospital, just short of the hospital. Not, but is it called like the Wish Store? Like I don't know. Like... No, so this was a. Uh, to call like, like is it like a hidden business in the front type of thing? No, this was a grocery uh uh an Asian grocery store. Um an Asian grocery you store. Yeah, 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 but not, uh, you uh, bought a microphone like, uh, at an Asian grocery store. On the in Asia back. grocery store. Uh that's the distribution center for which <laughs> <laughs> well, no, there's like a handful of places. like you if you have a business, I'm pretty sure you can just tell Wish, hey, I wanna and they'll send you shit or whatever. Uh, but yeah, so I go to pick up this microphone. She scans my QR code and she like hands me like this little fucking envelope like this big, you know. And I'm like, I don't think there's a microphone set up in there. <laughs> it's a flat, um, my, uh, flat envelope. Like, so yeah, so I walk. You to got my a car. picture of a microphone. Well, and like the weight wasn't there either. So like I walk out to my car with this thing. I'm like what the fuck is this? And, like you I walked it up. out, you didn't look at it. <laughs> No, nah, man. I was nervous. I wanted to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> so, yeah, I get to my no, car. Man, I'm, in middle, I'm in the middle of a... Of a and it's, uh, one of those new TV microphones? Real popular with the kids? No, it was a... Uh, well, at <laughs> first I thought it was like a tablecloth or like a outdoor table covering for the winter. Uh, but no, it turns out it was, it was like five feet across. Um it was for uh, yeah, like a soft-sided planter for growing weed. Like, I, <laughs> and you ordered a microphone? Used, and I ordered a microphone. <laughs> and yeah, and I got this fucking like kiddie pool-sized fucking planter for growing dope. Should you, should you have gone to the Ethiopian restaurant across the street? Maybe they had your microphone. Did you, you know, check the Thai place? <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, I, I want to just point out that after our very first trial <laughs> episode... 
Trunks and Cotton and Jay Dirty both ordered headphones like this, and we've been fine ever since. <laughs> Chicken has had a different audio and video setup almost <laughs> every single week for the last 18 weeks straight. <laughs> and I know which is bro. These were like seven dollars. Nothing makes me happier. It's so funny. <laughs> Well, tune in next week at episode 19 and see the chicken's brand new headphones, <laughs> microphone, and possibly camera light. Hey, but before we get out of here, do you, you have a new channel on there? For show. <laughs> see, I got my, my old microphone like hooked up on the side of it there. Yeah, we hear that. Yeah. So it looks cool, but it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm faking it. That's fucking awesome. Like it's Amazon. I like the fucking arm though. I'm a fan of the stand, but the mic don't work. You know, there's always next week there, chicken. All right, guys. This has been fun. Episode 19, 18, 17, 16. See, I'll save it. Episode 18, Scrub Hop Talk. We'll be back next week with the Christmas episode. We'll be back the week after that with our best of. And then it'll be next year, so go fuck yourself. So we're excited. Yeah. Oh, hey, put your nudity photos down. Big Trox, Troxy Cotton Chick, Big Fat Balls, J Dirty, we appreciate you guys. Subscribe, come back every Sunday. Right here, scrubhop.com. Bye, friends.